Hello and welcome back to Live in Wild. We recently entered phase four of Kuwait's program to return to normal life. Now included in the phase was the reopening of salons and spas. And we decided to take a visit to Bubbles Nail Spa in Kuwait City to see for ourselves and to share with you the measures that have been taken to protect clients and employees alike against infection from COVID-19. You may also check the link below in the description to read the full government directives too. So follow me here. Uh, we have social distancing displays, uh, just to remind people to wash their hands. When people do come in, we urge them to sanitize their hands first. If they don't prefer to sanitize, they can go straight to our wash basin where they can wash their hands for 20 seconds. And if you notice, we have the directions on how to wash your hands right above the wash basin. Now we encourage customers to enter, go straight to their seat. There's no need to stop at the re re reception. Your, your nail tech will be waiting for you at the door to guide you to your seats. When you get to your seat, your seat will be sanitized. It's gonna be sanitized before and after every client. It's gonna be sanitized if it's left uh, unused for two hours. And what we'll be doing is alternating uh, stations uh, so no two clients are sitting next to each other and as you see we already have quite a distance so we'll have at least a three meter distance between each client we have a limited menu so that we can make sure we we can service all our customers uh, in the quickest time possible we've closed off our blow bar and our brow bar for uh, sanitation reasons we just want to make sure that we offer the most uh, cleanest, most sanitary uh, services uh, in the, the best environment possible and right now we felt that uh, for manicure and pedicure that we, we can offer that in a very uh, effect, uh, sanit like effectively sanitized environment. If you notice, um, we've labeled and numbered our stations and that's to make sure that the stations that are being used are alternated. For example, the morning shift has the odd numbers and the afternoon has the even numbers. And there's also a name there, so that means that the employee is responsible for sanitizing their own station. We have dedicated garbages, garbage cans for our personal protective equipment. Uh, that means masks, gloves, anything else that needs to be disposed of will be in uh, specified uh, receptacles. Uh, we'll be changing our gloves between each customer. Uh, and masks will be changed every four hours and they'll also, all the nail techs will be using face shields while they uh, perform services. As I was saying earlier, we encourage clients to come to head, after washing their hands or sanitizing, to head straight to their station. At that point, um, to choose nail polishes, we usually have a customer um, come up to the nail polish rack, but for now, to avoid contamination, will the. But for now, to avoid contamination, your nail tech will bring your nail polish choices to you at your seat. When you're done with your service, any future appointments that you need to uh, arrange, any purchases that you want to make, and paying for your service will be done in your seat. So that way, the customer comes in, goes to their seat finishes everything that they need to do in their seat, and then leaves without stopping at the reception or causing any congestion at the reception area.